Namaskaram Sadhguru, I am Swapna from Fiji and I have a question from on uh, Swapna from Fiji. Fiji. Fiji, oh, Fiji okay. Islands, yes. Uh, Namaskaram. I have a question on um, the quality of uh, being feminine as Navratri is uh, coming in one or two days. I would like to know if it is okay for menstruating women to do offer prayers in our homes while we are on our menstruation cycle or is it okay to go to a temple and offer our prayers uh, while we are on a cycle? Whether it is okay or not okay and if you can shed some light on this please. Thank you. The Indian origin people in Fiji are still two centuries ago. <laughs> When you went there from India, you're still in the same place. Other Indian mo women have moved on <laughs> See, uh, you must understand this, why these things were spoken in the past. One important thing is, see, there was never a holiday for a woman, you must understand this. Even now in many homes it's still true. Today is a holiday for everybody, office and school break means a woman is working overtime, okay? Maybe man is pitching in a little bit today, but those days it wouldn't be so. And there was not just one woman in the house, generally there were multiple women because joint families and stuff. I've been in a joint family they were where there were over four hundred people, you know, people. So out of this, some are taking care of children, some are cooking, some are cleaning, some are doing things. I mean, distribution of labor is happening because men go out and work in the fields and stuff. Women take care of these things. See, uh, I know uh, there are some feminists, but let us look at this sensibly without any prejudice. Tell me as a woman, on those days of the month, would you like a break? Especially if it's hard physical work that you're doing. Hello? If it's very hard physical work, because everything was physical in those days. Cooking was not like, uh, you know, you put it in the microwave, chsk. Not like that. There's uh, cutting, grinding, lifting, bringing water, uh, enormous amount of physical labor. So those days they said, you don't enter the kitchen, you be. Now puja, worship you're talking about. See, in my grandfather's place and all that, puja room is like a third of this hall. Huge, there are so many gods to be satisfied. <laughs> yes, dozens and dozens of gods and goddesses, the day a woman is allotted to do puja, because different days different women are allotted so that… because puja is a strenuous process. To do puja means you must take some special water, not just some muddy water from somewhere, special water from that part of the river. You carry it, bring it, clean the puja room, prepare all these things, put flowers, make uh, the prasadam, this, that, a whole lot of work. This is… This worship is not simply Okay, it was a… it was an elaborate process. So again, she got a break. If she's at that time of the month, she doesn't have to do it. So generally she was given break from everything because that's the only holiday she got in a month. There are no Sundays, Mondays, Fridays, nothing for her. Every day is on and on and on. At least when she's in a way, a woman is mouthing when this is going on, you know, something of the old is going away and something new is beginning to form in the system. And above all, women did not have periods every month in those days because they had children and they were nursing the children. So two, three years they wouldn't have, if they have periods it's only for a few months and again they're pregnant and it will go on. In her life, from the age of fourteen to forty-five or whatever, if she delivers five, six children, she might have seen uh, maybe a few dozen periods, I want you to know. I met a lady in Syria where 
After her first period when she was thirteen plus, she's never had a period till she's fifty because she always had children and children continuously. No, no, you may say, oh my God, now. At that time, at that time, I want you to understand even in the beginning of twentieth century, the population on the planet was only 1.6 billion. Today definitely is oh my God, <laughs> all right? So if you look back a thousand years ago, what was our population? It was in a few hundred thousand across the planet. So there's not enough human beings, only wild animals everywhere. And they pick up your babies and go away whenever they want, yes? So, most women did not have a few dozen periods in their life or maybe let us say a hundred periods in her entire reproductive life. So those days they said, take a break from cooking, from worship, from your man, from everything. But today that's not the case. For most of the time, women are not in a reproductive process that is not needed. So, now this period is being looked at as a big thing because it's happening every month. It was never happening every month for most healthy women. It was happening once in a way. So those days they said a break, don't have to do anything. Giving you freedom even not to pray is a tremendous relief. Hello? You don't have to cook for your family, you don't even have to serve God on that day. Leave everybody alone, take care of yourself, isn't it a wonderful process? We are looking at it from the wrong side of history, wrong side of times in which we are. So, you can go wherever you are.